Hello everybody, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you very much for joining us. We're tracking the hot weather around some parts of New Zealand. We've got a nor'wester that's about to move in and that's going to push temperatures up again for some parts of the country. The tropics are also waking up next week. Quite a bit of a change up there. And Waitangi Day, we've got the forecast all the way up to Waitangi Day and it's looking a little bit... Mm. If you need rain, you're going to be happy. If you want a day off work and it's dry and sunny, you may not get what you want, but it depends on where you are. So let's try and make sense of it all. Here is the high pressure system over the country for today, Wednesday. You can see mostly light winds around the country, perhaps a little bit of a breeze through Cook Strait, a very light easterly forming around the top of the country, and there's that nor'wester starting to form. This is a big system. You can see why it's been so warm when it's going all the way up like this, scooping all that air up and bringing it down, and this is what is uh, coming in for the next couple of days. So more in the way of hot weather for some parts of New Zealand, especially in the South Island. So on Thursday, you can see those warm nor'westers. A lot of places will be in the late 20s, maybe into the early 30s, especially up around Marlborough. You know, a lot of people have asked about the heat wave, um, saying, is it technically one? The, the word heat wave doesn't really matter how hot it actually is, it's how much hotter than normal. So you can have a heat wave in Antarctica when it's below zero. It all depends on how much above normal it is. And I think a lot of the middle part of New Zealand is having Having several days above normal even though we do get into the 30s at times in summer it's sort of unusual with calm weather to be getting up above the 30s day after day after day um, unless you're perhaps in central Otago so we've got some warm hot weather around the country blustery winds but for some like up in the north it's not overly hot it's a fairly normal summer and we get to Friday this is the cold change so the temperatures are about to drop in some areas by 12 maybe 15 degrees that is a big drop but it's putting you back down around the late teens and early 20s, which is not freezing, um, but there's definitely a colder change coming. It'll be a bit windy at times on Friday, a few showers around the southern portion of the North Island, a couple of isolated ones elsewhere, although the winds are pretty light in northern New Zealand, but they get much stronger the further south you go, and there's that cold blue line where the temperatures drop. Now that front falls apart in the North Island on Saturday. That's the leftovers of it there. So a bit of cloud, a couple of showers, but with this big high, out in the Tasman, anti-cyclonic winds around it, so you've actually got a southeasterly flow around the North Island. Southeasterlies in summer can be very sunny and quite hot in places like Waikato and Auckland, but with a few showers and a bit of cloud around, a little bit hard to completely lock in what is happening on Saturday, but eastern areas like Hawke's Bay, you will be much cooler than where you've been earlier this week, that's for sure. Then we get to Sunday, high pressures in charge across New Zealand, light winds, it's a little warmer than Saturday was, and by the time we get to Monday, we're back to the Nor'westers, coming back through again around the South Island, a little bit of rain around Fiordland, but it is dry almost everywhere else, with those winds all the way up to about the lower North Island. So again, some areas will be hot, and then we get to Tuesday of next week before Waitangi, those winds are still blowing through, perhaps moving a little further north. Still got high pressure to the north though. There's that rain moving into South Westland now, a little bit of patchy, drizzly stuff falling over around Southland. And here's Waitangi Day at this stage. Now I've gone big picture because there's a couple things to talk about. Here's New Zealand. There's the cold front moving up the South Island. So there is definitely, well at least based on the modelling today, there is definitely a colder southerly coming in on Waitangi Day. Now the top half of New Zealand may not be so bad. It may be quite hot and dry, but maybe later in the day you get some wet weather. Now the reason why I've showed this big map is to really show what's happening in the tropics. There is a lot of energy up there. The lows are getting bigger, they're expanding, and they're doing that because the highs around New Zealand they're going further south. Look at the one that we've just had, a lot further north than the next couple, which are further down, and that allows these lows in the north to get bigger. So we've got a potential cyclone in the northeastern corner of Australia, up around Queensland, and we've got this very large area of low pressure directly north of us. That is likely to be coming down very close to New Zealand in the second week of February. It might bring some rain relief, or it might just be offshore. So we've got a bit of life happening in the tropics now, a few changes going on, but that's the forecast for now, up until Waitangi Day. I'll update you again on Thursday with the very latest.